Hi. Hello. So he's barfing now, huh? Yeah, he threw up the antibiotics. Yeah. He won't eat. Well, that's probably the antibiotic doing that. Yeah. Making that's not sense. that this far out in the therapy timing and all of that. So uh, is he okay otherwise? He's not doing anything weird like having diarrhea or? Uh, he didn't, he hasn't pooped today at all. He okay. did yesterday, but he had Did he eat all right? No, no he's not he didn't. Okay, well he's not gonna poop. <laughs> yeah. And they'll quit eating too. So we'll check him out here, his temperature's all right. Yeah. Um, um, so one basically thing what we'll wanna do is just stop the antibiotics that we're giving him. The big question yeah. is whether we can just stop the antibiotics or whether we need to switch him to something else that won't make him throw up. The best way to tell is to check his white count and see if it's normal now. It might be normal now. It's still a little high, but it was a lot less, you know, yeah. a couple I of days ago. I racking my brain trying to think what on earth. It's a paws chicken chew, and I don't know. Those chicken meat things? Chicken chew, yeah. The breasts? Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to be feeding those. The FDA's issued a warning on all brands. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Well, be, that's nice. They're selling yeah. them in the stores. No, it don't. It's they not say, the jerky, it's the chew. Well, the reason they're selling them in the stores, they still can't find what they're doing, but they have sick dogs with them all the time now. Well, I wonder and if it's... And kidney damage. Yeah. It's not high white count that's seen, though. Okay. Uh, so, but this is probably not that, but I'm just telling you, don't feed them anyway. Okay. Because they've been testing and testing and testing and testing, and they can't find yeah. anything wrong with the chicken. Well, that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with it because they keep getting so many more cases as time goes by that they just issued a warning on them. Yeah. Just a blank, like, hey, you know, we, something's going on and we still don't know what it is. We haven't been able to identify that the chicken's even the cause of it. Mm -hmm. But there just seems to be so many related to these chicken things, the Chinese ones. Yeah. See, I guess the Chinese like dark meat. They're like me. They like the dark meat. And so that leaves a lot le more breast meat for export. Oh. So they get you know, they're, they're get these cheap chicken breast meat from China. And you know how China is, you never know what they, what they're sitting that stuff, right? Yeah, well, it's the Paws brand, I guess it yeah. is from China. Well, look, they think it's the Chinese stuff, I think, because that's what they're seeing is the Chinese ones doing And what it. is the red here I under? I think that's where he had a urine. I think that's where that is right there. Uh, yeah, that can be from a needle stick. Yeah, because I was thinking maybe it's like bruising that. like, right in the spot like where mommy's you'll see hand right here. You know. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about that. Okay, because I thought, oh God, what if he's bleeding internally or something? Well, you need any rat bait, did you? No. Oh, good. I don't want you to eat any rat bait. He's overdue for grooming, so he's a mess. Well, he's dirty dog. He's looking pretty okay. Let me listen to his heart. Yeah, Bernie. But uh, yeah, so at any rate, they've got they've got a kind of a situation where they're saying they're so suspicious of it that they tell people, you know, there's a lot. You know, dogs don't have to eat chicken uh, treats to stay alive, so no, just I... don't feed them to them. And but they're not pulling them off the shelf because they don't have any proof that that's what it is. Yeah, well, I you know? cook chicken for them, so chicken breast boil. Yeah, that's safer. Yeah, made in America. As long as you thoroughly cook them. Mm -hmm. Boil it for an hour. Not like my old college roommate, man. He'd cook chicken and it'd be all bloody in the middle. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> no. Crawling it's like bacteria. eating a steak that's still mooing. Yeah. No, steaks are okay. Mm. They're not they're quite steak. as dangerous. Well, you know, you get the E. coli with the beef and the salmonella with the chicken, but the salmonella and the chicken's a lot more common. Yeah. No, but it your heart's fun. beating away with your little murmur. And we know that's normal for him. There. It's almost like his nose is stuffed up. I don't know. It's really weird. His heart rate's a little elevated right now. It's 180. Breathe. You know, he's breathing like, you know, when your nose is so stuffed up you can't blow it because it's swollen shut in there and you got to do the Vicks and then blow your nose and then do yeah. more Vicks. You know, we think it's like that. Huh. Of course, you're not breathing right now. No coughing. No, no okay. coughing. It's just his whole sides are just heaving when he lays down. 
He doesn't seem like he's in pain or anything like that. No, we didn't give him the pain medicine this morning because we thought that was making him nauseous or something, and then it turns out it's the antibiotic. Probably the antibiotic. You know, it could be anything, but that's no, the most down. likely thing. He's on the last, but we got four boxes of it, and I took the first dose out of the last one last night. So. I'm beginning to think maybe we should do the ultrasound and figure out what's going on. Well, maybe. Right now, I'd like to just see if his white count went down to normal, and that's okay. a lot simpler and faster test. Okay. Yeah. And less expensive. So, let's do that. He doesn't act like he's in pain. Yeah. Well, and if his white so count's totally down to normal, maybe we'll just stop any of these antibiotics and just see what he does, because a lot of times that's all you have to do. Itself. You don't have to do anything else. So let's check that first. If it's still high, then what we can do is switch the kind of antibiotic or give him an injectable antibiotic, which will skip the vomiting side effect thing. Well, he was having those injectables, and then they then Guido said we his kidneys were. We got to give him were. a different injectable now because yeah. he, he ran his limit on that one. Oh, so it's like so, that. But we can give him a different one. Oh, and he'll be okay. That's a, yeah. There's different. You know, there's more than one kind of injectable antibiotic you can get. Yeah. Uh, so. If we have to, we can just switch to, you know, you know, plan C or D or whatever we are on. Alpha, beta, on zeta, yeah. kappa. Hey, uh, we need to get a CBC on burn. CBC? Okay. Yeah. And uh, I want to hopefully see his white counts all normal and we can just let him go with the antibiotics for now. So let's do that first. Are you on him or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's been real good with him. Are you a good boy? Hey. I don't know if I like. I say I like Guido, but I don't like what he does to me. He's <laughs> like I don't like That's the needle. That's what the girls say too. <laughs> 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 oh, I got that joke now. I'm slow. <laughs> Bernie, poor thing. Well, hopefully we'll figure out what's going on now. Good boy, yeah.